Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, blah, blah, blah. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Boom. Easy as that. There you go. I promised you guys, well, I didn't really promise though, but I said I would work on the loading in the last video and I did not. All of those of you who are pissed about that, I'm really, really sorry. I kind of got stuck and, and sidetracked by all this other shit trying to fix the tile problems here but hopefully uh you know this won't be that big of a problem right now what i want to do is i want to load from file so i'm just gonna pretty much set up set up the what do you call it the um the basis for this okay so it might not be perfect from the start but it might you know it will do something so here you go i'm gonna go ahead and and copy this actually because it's pretty much going to be the same, right? For, you know, some of it. And then we're just going to say in file. All right. So, and this is going to be IF stream. In file stream, in file. Make sure this is correct here, okay? And then you copy that in file part. Boom. Boom. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Um, uh, we can pretty much remove all of this. We'll keep the for loop. We might need a for loop. Uh, we, we might, might need a for loop, might need a for loop, yeah, mm, uh, mm. might, might, might need a for loop, we'll see, this we probably won't need, uh, that's balls, so I'm just gonna do that, else error tile map could not load from file, file name, boom, in file, that close do not forget the infile that close it's gonna mess you up give you all kinds of weird errors so just make sure there's infile everywhere and you have all that stuff going so if infile is open i'm probably gonna have a little while loop here okay while in file and uh yeah while in file uh, and we're gonna get some stuff in here so 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 while in file, this just just as an example, we're gonna remember what we have saved. Um, basic uh, wait, size, so size x y. Uh, da da da. Size. Hmm. Okay. If it's open, then we're gonna allocate some local memory here. SF vector 2F. Pretty sure, no, 2U, right? 2U size. We're just gonna say size here. And then size.x, size.y. All right. And these are the basic loading. These are the basics, right? So basics, we're just gonna start off by loading those. Uh, the size xy, grid size, layers, texture file. And the, how do we save those? So that's a vector to u. That's an unsigned int. Unsigned int. And a string. So two more unsigned ints. Unsigned grid size u. Un, unsigned layers. All right, just make sure you define these as well. Otherwise, you might get some errors if you're trying to use them and stuff. This is defined, or this is, uh, or initialized, I'm sorry. This is initialized by default, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, all right, and then we're going to go ahead and do, do the grid, size you. All right, use, it will use the local one, even though you have this variable in your class. It will still use the one in the closest scope, which is this one. So remember that, this if statement scope here. Then we're going to get in the layers. All right, now these are very important because these are going to... Um, yeah, these are going to these are gonna do stuff. Do stuff. Wait, we don't need a while statement here, right? This is what happens. So we're going to get all the basics and then we're going to do the tiles. So this is probably where we need to use the for loop. So we're going to initialize them. 
and we're going to say uh, we're gonna just kind of borrow the initialization here this part uh, we're also gonna delete everything first so we're just gonna you know what we could do we can make a clear memory private function so let's just do that first let's go up in here in the private section here and let's just say void clear we just call it clear it doesn't really matter uh, clear define that at the top hopefully it defined that at the top of the whole shit uh, no it did not where did it put clear no it did put it at the top okay so I'm just gonna paste this from the destructor and I'm gonna call clear in the destructor so this clear all right whoopsie daisy okay boom okay no why did it change my shit there you go clear okay uh we'll call clear but what clear doesn't do is it doesn't set this to null and i probably want to do that uh whoops this equals null all right just because that's what we want to do that sometimes we want to use clear just to remove everything and set everything to null again otherwise it's not initialized and i probably think yeah, it does set everything to null. Hmm. Let's see if we can just copy all of this like that. Let's copy actually all of this stuff from the constructor. Why not just copy the whole goddamn constructor? Okay, let's just do that because that's probably what we're going to have to use. So maybe just paste all that. Um, this clear so we'll just clear everything and then grid size F uh, grid size F float grid size F equals no wait you know what no 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 now it's going to be the other way around so U is just going to be grid size all right, and this is going to be a static cast float of grid size. Grid size? U? Grid size? We should just call it grid size, actually. You know what? I'll just call it grid size. There you go. And then this is going to be size dot x, size dot y layers is going to be layers all right and texture file is going to be the string that we get in from texture file so i'm sorry this you see this is taking a little more time so uh, hopefully you can stick with me and still be interested uh, file name uh, equals nothing and then we'll just say file name no texture ah oh, texture file god damn it can't damn it mean okay texture file texture file and hopefully that won't contain any spaces or we're gonna have a big issue so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that as it is for now texture file equals texture file and we're gonna clean clear the whole thing. We're going to resize it to everything here that we set. And it's going to be hopefully resized. It's going to load the texture file. And once that's initialized, I'm going to say load all tiles. So once that's resized, we shouldn't really have a problem um, with anything. Uh, while... while 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 let's see how much time we got okay we don't have that much time you know i'm just gonna set this up and then i'm going to end the video and then we'll keep going in the next one but while so then we're gonna have to look at how we saved everything so we're gonna have to go through all of these grid position x y texture x y and then collision type uh also i forgot to save the grid position when i saved the shit 
Where did I save it? There's a save to file right here. Okay, I forgot to save the grid position. Out file. Alright, you want to save the grid position. The X, Y, and then the Z. And you want all spaces in between. Um, we need the Z to say which layer we're on. Okay. X, Y, Z, space, everything else. Alright, so that's going to depend on the layer. I need to put that in here. Grid position, X, Y, Z. X, Y, layer. Texture wrecked. Collision type. Okay, so there you go. Pretty good. At least that will save it properly. Now when we load it, we're going to have to load it in. So we're going to have to say... What are those actually? Grid positions. We could just say... Uh, where are we? Right here. Unsigned X. Unsigned um, Y. Z. No, we'll just call it Z. You know, it makes it easier. So we'll have those. We'll have those, and then we need the uh, texture act X, texture act Y, collision and type. Uh, TR on unsigned TR texture rect X, unsigned texture rect Y. No, not try. TR X, TR Y equals zero. Uh, bool collision. And then short for type. All right. Because type is the last thing. There you go. Now we're going to have to get all of these loaded while, while uh, X, Y, Z. And then we need in file here as well. In file. X, Y, Z. Um, I'm forgetful. X, Y, Z. Te texture X, Y collision type. T, R, X. T, R, Y. Collision. Type. Okay, so while that's doing whatever it's doing. We're going to have to set this map at that position. This map Z, wherever we find these, equals a new tile with the position. And then the grid size, F, texture, and all that stuff. Okay, we'll do that in the next video. That's a, it's a bunch of stuff to do. But there you go, guys and girls. We're working on it, making stuff load. So you see the load option thingy is a little a little different because it kind of resets the whole map and loads something into it. So it's a lot larger than the save. Now save is pretty easy. Load is a little harder. But there you go. Hopefully you're sticking with me. Hopefully you don't find this boring. And thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for sticking with me as always. Please check out the description box. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.